been a decade since Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 went missing, and some families of the Chinese passengers on board marked the day by pressing on with their quest for answers. There was a heavy police presence this morning as relatives streamed in to meet officials from China's foreign ministry in Beijing. Many have not given up visiting the ministry every week for the last 10 years, seeking help on various MH370-related matters. And this time, they're asking for the search to continue. Talks today went on for about two hours before families proceeded to the Malaysian embassy. Roads were blocked and security was tight around the area. A court in Beijing began hearing the cases of some 40 families in November last year. They are demanding compensation. As they say, the tragedy not only deprived them of their loved ones, but also plunged some of them into financial distress. Uh but there is renewed hope after the Malaysian government said it is ready to accept proposals for a new search. CNA's Melissa Go covered the disappearance of the plane and subsequent search efforts 10 years ago. And uh, she brings us back to how it all unfolded. It was just like any other night. Malaysia Airlines in-flight supervisor Patrick Gomez checked in for duty at Kuala Lumpur International Airport. He went through security clearance before boarding his regular red eye flight to Beijing. Amage, 370. Patrick always said the flying was safe. Safer than driving a car. So, you know, go to work, come back, go to work, come back. That was the last time we saw him walking to the aircraft. On board the flight, 227 passengers and 12 crew members. No one saw what was to come. The Boeing 777 simply vanished from the radar screens. It was unprecedented in the history of modern aviation. A massive search operation ensued, from South China Sea to the Indian Ocean. All came to naught. Daily news conferences yielded more questions than answers. As days turned to weeks, families grew more anxious. After waiting for 12 days, a lot of family members of passengers on board MH370 are losing patience. A group of Chinese nationals, they came here to get information firsthand, but they are frustrated. They barge into the media center, demanding to know the truth, armed with banner. Now they were escorted out, pandemonium ensued, they are now being held in this room. But nothing could have prepared them for this. With deep sadness and regret that I must inform you that according to this new data, flight MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. We were like numb. Is that it? You, you say the plane is there, is that it? What else are you going to do? For many families and loved ones of those on board, finding closure is tough, even though it's been 10 years. When somebody passes, they have a cemetery to bury their loved ones. What have we got? We've got nothing. At the 10th anniversary memorial service held outside Kuala Lumpur recently, families once again pleaded with the government to accept Ocean Infinity's proposal to commence search on a new area covering 15,000 square kilometers in the southern Indian Ocean. In 2018, the US-based marine robotics company conducted a three-month no-cure, no-fee search covering over 100,000 square kilometers of the southern Indian Ocean. The search was halted after it drew a blank. The government's stand has always been very consistent. If there are credible information uh, to be submitted to the government, then we are prepared to resume the search. Uh, but as far as we are concerned, there was yet to be any uh, credible information that we have received uh, so far. 
Nevertheless, speaking at the recent memorial event, he promised the next of kin that he will discuss the latest proposal with Ocean Infinity. For them to prove to us, and I'm sure that uh, based on this proposal, I think we have no reluctance to start to start uh, such a search because it is based on a no fine, no, no fee uh, proposal. So they are taking a risk as well. United in grief and standing in solidarity with family members of MH370, Transport Minister Anthony Looks promised to resume search 10 years on has given fresh hopes to family members. Most importantly is the black box to exactly find out what actually happened on board on that day itself. But then again, at the end of the day, if, if there's an aircraft but there's no real truth behind it, what's the point, right? For now, these pieces, believed to come from the wreckage of the MH370, a stark reminder of one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in aviation history.